Hi there. In this video I'm going to explain how to set custom alerts in interactive brokers. So for those of you who are not familiar with the platform, when you initially launch, this is their mosaic view. And what we're going to take a look at is uh, here in the chart. So what you want to do is first maximize this window, and you can do that by clicking that icon. And now that we've got the chart full screen, what you're going to do is right click, and then from this menu you're going to choose the little handbell icon up at the top right and when you drag your cursor over it will actually give you the option to create new alert or it'll actually state that there and uh, as you can tell after I click that nothing really happened but what you need to do from here is kind of set where uh, you want the alert to trigger so basically on the price so um, we'll just say hypothetically you had um, you know short exposure in Apple and you wanted to maybe set stops somewhere above one of the moving averages or something so what you could do is just come in here and click and we'll just say you know uh, we're gonna set our stop somewhere in here um, and basically once you've clicked there it'll go ahead and show you where the price was that you set that so 116.02 and it's saying that uh, if it's greater than or equal to $116.02 you'll receive the alert and if you were happy with all that you could go and click on activate but if you wanted to go in maybe add a few other filters or change some things you can go to the advanced settings uh, once you've pulled up the advanced settings you're gonna get both of these windows here this one would be re basically just recreating what we've just done, but I'll go ahead and click through it to explain. So here, obviously, we're doing this based on price, but you could also come in and you know do something based on the percentage change, trade, time, whatever. Uh, but we'll go ahead and click Next, and then we're at the basically uh, the same window that we were at earlier. So we'll just click Finish. And in this window, this is where you can really go in and kind of customize, um, you know, different things when the alert triggers. So, for example, you could come in here and kind of create a uh, somewhat of an action set. Um, you know, when the alert triggers, you could do a lot of different things here. We won't really get into that in this example, but uh, we will cover just a few other things. So, under messages, you can go in there and customize what you want the alert to tell you, just so, you know, if you have multiple alerts set, it's a little bit easier to reference or at least kind of know what this alert was trying to convey. Um, so, for example, you know, we were talking about that was our, you know, hypothetical kind of alert um, slash stop in Apple. Um, you know, so you could just say something like, time to get out of Apple uh, or whatever you know this is obviously completely up to you but uh, a couple other things to point out is you do have the option of selecting you uh, basically to receive the alerts via email um, and text message or SMS um, one other thing here under audio um, you know, when the alert triggers, uh, it's set up to where a siren will play. Um, if you want to change that, you can obviously do this here, and then demo the sound by clicking this. So, very customizable, um, but once you're ready, you will just click activate down here at the bottom. Obviously, if you wanted to, to delete this alert and start over, you could just click delete here. Uh, but now that we're ready, we'll just go and click on activate. And you can see, obviously, we have our alert right here. And it's basically set up now to where if Apple breaks 16.02, we will get a, uh, an alert. Now, one final thing here, if you highlight this, you can see it changed from yellow to blue, and then it actually changes the cursor into the pointing finger. You can actually just right click on this, and if you want to get rid of the alert, just change, or excuse me, just click on delete alert. And you'll just say yes here. And that's basically it. I hope that helps.